Okay, so I have a conclusion. Forgive me, I have a pimple and it hurts really bad. Um, <laughs> um, okay, I watched a video yesterday about sabbatical cycles and they found out that this year is the seventh sabbatical year in a sabbatical cycle, which ends September 26th, right? Okay, exactly seven years from now in 2029, the asteroid Apophis is said to possibly hit the Earth April 13th, 2029, which, mind you, is Friday the 13th. With God, there is no coincidences, and he will not keep silent for Zion's sake. So it doesn't matter what religion it is, what ethnicity, or where it was recorded, or who recorded it. God will not keep quiet for Zion's sake. There are no coincidences. And if there's anything of any importance, it is, I'm not knocking anything, but ancient Hebrew and ancient Aramaic is where Jesus came from. And I can tell you, I met him in person. He is not a joke. He's not a game. I had to beg God, please let me have an encounter with you. I'm not trying to test you. I'm not trying to demand you to prove yourself. I'm not trying to do any of these things. But with my PTSD, I was held captive and tortured, beaten, sodomized, raped, and burned for five days straight years ago. My PTSD doesn't allow me to trust people very well. I can't trust man. I physically can't. So I couldn't believe even the words in the Bible just because man said I should. So I begged God, please help me find the truth untouched by man. And he did. He helped me. I wear this ring on my hand every day because I've given my life to him. I'm abstinent. I am going to be 28 this year. I've given my life completely to him, and I feel like a kid again. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> but, okay, if okay, if the rapture doesn't happen this fall, which a lot of people think it will, okay, um, exactly seven years from now is 2029. NASA said that it won't hit Earth. I don't believe what they say necessarily because NASA likes to lie about many things. And they've also loved to blurt out anything about God, as well as the media. Anytime somebody starts talking about the gospel or something says Jesus, they blur it out. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And I think they don't want us to see the correlation with 2029. They want to say it's not going to hit. Because if you look at Revelation chapter 9, as a matter of fact, start at Revelation chapter 8, Watch what it says. Pay attention to the astronomical events that are supposed to happen. Fo follow with me here. Start at 2028. 20, Read Revelation chapter 8. Track with those events. Watch and listen in your soul, in your spirit, in truth. Go to Revelation 9. Check out 2029. The next sabbatical cycle of seven years is supposed to begin 2023, right? 2023, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, seven. Does God not rest on the seventh day, right? Okay. Um, they, the, they've named this asteroid that's supposed to come Apophis. That stands for God of Chaos. It also stands for a serpent that is like the embodiment of evil. The Egyptians believed in a god called Ra that would destroy Apophis every morning. But I don't believe in Egyptian gods, plural, because there is one god, Yahweh, period, point blank. I told God the truth of my soul, my PTSD. I told him he knew I was telling the truth because he searched the reins of your heart. He's not a joke, okay? He's going to know if you're trying to bullshit him. He's not a game. And stop playing him like he is for anybody who thinks that he should just be bet on his knees doing as you ask. God forgive me. I know I'm being mean. But seriously, you got to, you got to, like, you can't just expect him to bow to you. No, we are the human race. We are disrespectful. We are evil. Look at what other humans are capable of. That's within you too, because you're also human. God is 100% innocent. And as man would have you believe, would have you believe, my bad, I'm getting excited. I can't talk right. Okay, I gotta stop. When I talk about God, I get this way. So, because <laughs> I met him and it's awesome. And I get way too excited. So I just gotta chill, but... I just, I couldn't believe it's this real. It's awesome. I met him and I'm in love with Jesus. I really am. 
sorry, I'm just starting to get way too excited. This is just how I get because I literally fell head over heels for Jesus. So I just lost where I was talking. All right, let me breathe. Okay. There's no coincidences with God. Okay. No coincidences. No coincidences at all. Yeah. This up here is for my kids. I got their artwork all over my walls. It's I'm all about my kids. <laughs> but <sighs> there's no coincidences. And if you pick up on Revelation 8, look where it starts. Heaven is silent for half an hour. Heaven is always active. Why would they be silent? It's because God is silent and he has never unleashed his wrath all at once, ever in all existence until this point. It is silent for 30 minutes as God is building up in his full wrath. As it is built up completely, then the seven angels who are given the seven trumpets are about to sound. This is real. It is beautiful. God's math is perfect, perfectly precise. And it's usually man who's off. There's been people who have died and had experiences with God. There's a man who died. He, for some reason, he was in the presence of what he didn't know what was. He didn't know if it was God, but it was God. Come find out. If you listen to the interview, I'm not, I can't remember this guy's name, but he started saying some kind of mathematical equation and tried to call God out on it because he, God was wrong. That's what he said. But God, all he said was, your math is wrong. And he gave him the right answer and dude couldn't believe that it was, he was off just by that little. We are so close to the truth. And when you think you got it and you got God left out of it, that's the last part you need. <sighs> One more baby step, and it's your biggest step you must take. You scientists are so bright. Why are you doing this? You are so bright. You know how amazing you'd be in a prophetic mind? You'd be incredible. And I'm not saying that to hype your head up or get you cocky. You have to have humility. You have to have a meek spirit. Oh, my Lord. You guys would literally be covered in goosebumps probably for years after you started to realize the correlations with mathematical precision, God and your science. It's scary. <laughs> Especially when you start to find things that finally show you he's real. It starts to get a little too scary sometimes and you're like, wait, hang on. But look into this. I looked at this like way up in the way up in space aerial view of like how Apophis is supposed to come around to the earth in 2029, right? It's supposed to be like this. Okay. Here's 2028. Here's earth. Here's Apophis. It's like this. And it's, it's like, here's earth. Here's Apophis. It's going like this, like this. And then 2029, it's like this. And it keeps going around, and then eventually Apophis gets further away. And it's, I know that was not very precise. Forgive me. I'm not really the best at things like that but just to give you a general idea it's supposed to it looks like it's going to smash into us look what it says happens in revelation 9 look <laughs> this is awesome not because i want anybody to get hurt but god does not play and he loves all of you so much he wants your soul to be his the only soul that is hurt my bad the only sin that is not forgiven is to blaspheme the Holy Spirit. That is to refuse forgiveness completely, not even repent, not even try, and have just such a hatred for God that you could care less and don't even want to try. I mean, that's just, there's something in your soul that you must have harbored that has completely embodied you. I got to get off here. I have to do my, my midnight prayer. Look into this. Read along with Revelation chapter 8. Keep in mind the astronomical events coming up in 2029. Read it and do not weep. Rejoice. Jesus is coming. Whether it be this fall, whether it be 2029, whether it be later, whether it be tomorrow, whether it be now, right after this video. <sighs> Either way, I'm excited. Maranatha. God bless you. Forgive me for the crazy eyes. <laughs> I get so excited. God bless you guys.